Hello YouTube, John here from Geeks101 and tonight I'm gonna be showing you um, how to install Cyber and Mod 9 to your Nexus S device and if you are hearing some explosions right now it's because it's Easter and here in Greece we have a custom to just blow things up <laughs> when we have something you know to celebrate about anyway I'm gonna be showing you uh, how to install Cyanogen Mod 9 it's gonna be a pretty long procedure I think we should you know just get started like now go now go 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 so the first thing we need to do is going to our recovery so let's power off our phone I'm gonna select power off and okay wait for it to just vibrate and it will be the sign that it's powered off okay so we need to press and hold the volume up button and the power button at the same time until we see this screen and now navigate with your volume up and down buttons so I'm pressing volume down twice and then to select just press the power button so you will see this screen okay and now we're in our uh, clockwork mode recovery touch so what I usually do is a bit different than what uh, some other people do if you want to do it my way just follow my guide so uh, the first thing I am doing when I want to flash a new ROM is basically this first of all I am using this option let me check if you can see this okay I'm using this white data factory reset so just touch that one or if you're using one of the other versions just go uh, up and down using the volume up and down you can do it here too with the volume up and down as you can see or you can touch so this is the yes delete all user data wait for the process to finish and it says it's complete so after that I'm wiping my cache partition so I'm pressing on that one yes wipe cache wait for this process to finish also so now I'm gonna disconnect my USB cable because I don't want it to mess up with my SD card partitions and what you need to do is mounts and storage and you can see a lot of options to format here so first of all format SD card press the yes format second format system yes format third format cache yes format fourth format data and finally format boot and yes format so this is a very delicate procedure and after you format your boot sector you should be very careful not to reboot the phone by accident because maybe there are some cases that it doesn't have the ability to reboot even in the recovery mode so be very careful after this step um, now what I need to do is mount my USB storage so I can copy some files in here so I'm mounting the USB storage and I need to reconnect my USB cable so that's exactly what I'm gonna do this is my USB cable reconnecting so basically my computer can see the device again let me adjust the camera for you okay and now I'm gonna go to the folder that I have all the downloaded files
So this is the Cyanogen mod Sim9 update, the latest one. I'm gonna open it up over here. I'm gonna open up a new Windows Explorer window and open up my removable disk. As you can see, there's nothing on it now. So the first thing I need is this one. I'm gonna copy it over here. Copy here. <coughs> just do it one by one be patient with it after it's done do the same thing with the Google Apps file that we've downloaded the latest one so again copy here and basically you can just copy anything else you need to copy so I'm gonna copy the matrix kernel again copy here okay so I'm good to go okay so I'm gonna press unmount and I'm going to remove the USB cable okay so I'm removing it and now I'm gonna go further down and touch the go back be very careful we don't need to press the first option that says reboot system now we need the second option that says install zip from SD card so I'm gonna go to this one and touch it and then select the first option that says choose zip from SD card and the first thing you need to install is the update cm9 blah 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 all this first one is the ROM so just touch this one and then go further down and press the yes install update blah 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 and wait for it to finish so you can see here it says install from SD card complete so again choose the first option choose zip from SD card and this time you need to install the gaps the Google Apps so just touch that one and again press the yes install gaps okay in the final file that's optional just choose it from SD card and install the matrix CFS version 19 so again yes install this is optional if you want to use the default CM9 kernel it's just fine so now it's safe to boot up in your um, uh, normal Android OS so reboot system now first boot usually takes a bit of time so just bear with me or maybe if it takes a lot of time I'm going to you know <laughs> as I usually do fast forward or cut this part okay so we're booted up and now it's asking for my uh, pin code so let me just type it in okay press start and it's actually going to ask you to set up from the beginning so let me just adjust the settings if it lets me <laughs> Athens Istanbul ok so press the next and this is typical for all the custom ROMs gonna start over so it's asking me to sign in with my Google account so I'm gonna do that right now just give me a second so you can see here I have signed in and it's restoring my phone because I have almost everything backed up on the uh, with my Google account so I'm gonna wait for it to finish and then I'm gonna come back to continue with you guys so this is done let's check our system settings and about phone you can see here Android version 4.0.4 